Hey guys, Kyle here. So I thought it'd be a little bit interesting to talk about what it's like to travel internationally right now. And in particular, what it's like to travel to Thailand, since that's where I recently traveled to. So traveling with COVID and in a pandemic, as you might imagine, is a lot more complicated than traveling at normal times. Um, and one thing that's immediately different um, and this was true kind of throughout the trip, is that you need extensive documentation um, for a variety of things. Um, in my case, that included um, having what's called a certificate of entry, um, which basically provides all my information for going into Thailand. Um, you know, just the normal visa as well, medical insurance, uh, a negative COVID test, proof that I had paid uh, for quarantine ahead of time, along with a bunch of other documentation. And so on top of having this documentation, it actually gets checked very frequently. And throughout the entire trip, I probably had all the documents that I had checked six or seven different times. And this included on the first flight I boarded, my flight out of the United States, and my last flight that connected to Thailand. So at each step, I had to get all the documents uh, verified. Now thankfully, uh, that all went fine. Um, and one thing I saw a lot of is that pretty much every traveler, myself included, had some kind of folder or binder or something to keep all of these documents together. Um, it is a little bit nerve wracking when you're traveling and you have to have all this stuff. Uh, you can't lose it. And if you do, it could really uh, cause some issues. Um, so that was one of the immediate differences. Um, another big one is that once you do get on an international flight, um, it's very likely that the stewardesses and stewards on that flight will be wearing uh, a lot of personal protective equipment. So in my case, and I was flying on Qatar Airways, uh, with all the flight attendants, um, they were all wearing just basically decked out in you know plastic suits, wearing protective uh, glasses and masks, of course. You know, and on top of that, you know, they did everything they could to spread out people as much as possible on the plane. Uh, so a lot of precautions uh, were being taken. Uh, you know, that being said, though, uh, once you kind of get beyond having to wear a mask on the flight and having the crew of the flight in the personal protective equipment, um, it actually ended up being pretty normal in that regard. Qatar Airways had actually a very, very nice service. Um, the flights went really well and smoothly. Uh, and so that was actually pretty nice. Um, of course, going from the United States to Thailand takes a long time and that part still sucks. Um, but that uh, is kind of unavoidable when you're flying around the world. Um, now I think the maybe the really interesting part is uh, the arrival to Thailand. And this is significantly uh, different than it would have been in the past. And so the major airport in Bangkok is called uh, Subwanapu Airport. Um, it's absolutely massive. Uh, it's a very large airport. And in the past, when going there, you'd go out, there'd be a ton of people uh, walking around. And then, you know, you'd pretty much just head straight to immigration, you know, go through, get your bag, and then you're pretty much off and on your own. Uh, that is completely different now, of course. Uh, you can't just go out of the airport. Um, you pretty much head directly into quarantine. So uh, with that, um, basically when you get off the flight, they have everyone walk down a big hallway and uh, kind of at the end of that hallway, they have just a bunch of chairs set out. 
a whole lot so that they can put um, everyone, you know, down there, um, make sure they have everyone checked out. Um, and these are all like socially distanced and there's just a ton of them. So it's a huge space. Um, and with that, uh, you know, area, there were probably around uh, 40 to 50 uh, Thai Ministry of Health officials uh, to process and check all of the various paperwork um, that uh, you uh, bring with you. Um, so on top of all these checks for the paperwork and everything, making sure the flight is good and all that, um, they also check your temperature. Um, they actually check it two or three times uh, with various different methods. Uh, I got checked with just your typical infrared thermometer to the forehead. Um, also got scanned by infrared cameras as well. Um, so they're really not leaving anything to chance. Um, and so after that, um, went to another series of tables, and this time to check what's called the Certificate of Entry. And the Certificate of Entry is an extra thing right now that you need in order to enter Thailand. Essentially, um, you need to get a bunch of background checks and things um, before you travel here. And so uh, they have a table to check that. And so at this point, I haven't even gotten through immigration. Um, so after you do that, um, you get and go through the normal immigration process, um, which is, you know, pretty standard uh, type of stuff. Um, so from there, I was able to get my bag and, you know, that's just the normal baggage claim type thing. Um, nothing too fancy there. Um, typically though, you know, once you get your bag, you kind of just, you're pretty much set to go. Uh, you'll bring it through customs, although most of the time in customs, there isn't a whole lot to do. So you just kind of go out after that. Uh, but naturally this time that doesn't happen at all. Um, instead, uh, you're, you go out of customs and uh, you meet another set of people um, and they ask you for the documentation uh, for the quarantine hotel that you're going to. And um, they get that all set up and bring you outside. And then they put you like in a little personal taxi cab pretty much. And uh, with that taxi cab, and the same thing all over again. You have uh, the driver, driver's wearing a mask, um, got personal protective equipment on from head to toe pretty much and has a huge barrier um, that blocks the entire front off uh, from the back seat um, and you know normally uh, the airport in Bangkok has a, a ton of traffic coming in and out uh, however this time going out of the airport there was almost none I think there were only two or three cars on the highway leaving the airport. Uh, so that's a pretty dramatic change, uh, you know, from typically there being hundreds um, at any given time. Um, so then take the, uh, the little personal taxi into Bangkok and uh, they bring you right to the front door of your quarantine hotel. And with your quarantine hotel, um, it was actually very interesting. So kind of same thing here. Um, the driver actually popped the trunk. Um, a person from the hotel came out, got my, my luggage and brought it in. Um, and then actually brought it up to my quarantine room uh, while I was checking in with the hotel. Uh, same thing with the employees at the hotel. Head to toe, covered in personal protective equipment. And it's definitely not like a typical hotel experience. Uh, yet again, I had to show all my documentation about everything um, at the quarantine hotel as well um, and answer a bunch of other questions just to make sure everything is uh, solid and that I'm not going to go crazy while in quarantine. So far, so good. Um, and naturally, everything any kind of services that might absorb COVID or might have issues is either blocked off or plasticed off or cordoned off. Um, 
and the way they do it is they even attempt to socially distance, you know, with all the employees. Uh, when I checked in, I sat across a, a big desk from the person that was checking me in. And um, even when she went to take me to, you know, where I was supposed to go to, to my room, she went into the elevator, hit the button on the elevator, and then asked me to get in. Um, and then I went up, um, you know, without her. Um, and just met another hotel employee on the floor wh where my room is. And same thing, that person socially distanced themselves from me. They really, what they did is they just actually pointed to where my room was. Um, they had already put the bag in uh, and they just left the door open. And so you really have almost no contact, you know, whatsoever. Uh, essentially, you know, everyone I interacted with since getting to Thailand has had pretty much full head-to-toe protective equipment on, um, you know, to different various levels. Um, so, you know, it's quite an, an interesting process. It's a little bit freaky. Um, it's definitely a little bit weird uh, to be surrounded by people to make, you know, that are making sure, of course, that uh, nothing goes wrong. Um, but it's, it's a bit surreal. Um, especially to be in these places that normally have, you know, very large numbers of people moving around, um, but they're, you know, very empty instead. Um, that being said, though, you know, even with all the documents and everything else, I was actually pretty surprised by how smooth the process it was. Um, all the people working with the Thai Ministry of Health were, were very kind and very helpful. Um, they seem to have the process down um, pretty well. And so when I, you know, got off the flight and, you know, getting everything and getting to the hotel, um, going through all this stuff actually probably only took um, about an hour, which actually isn't too bad, um, all things considered. Um, even in normal times, I think just with the amount of people that will go through immigration, uh, that can end up taking a long time. Um, in any case, though, there are a bunch of other elements to this. Um, I definitely want to show off my quarantine hotel room a little bit, uh, talk about that a little bit more, uh, but I'll do that in another one. Uh, be curious to see what kind of questions you guys have, um, if there's anything you guys are curious about. Um, yeah, it's definitely a little bit surreal, um, but it is cool, too. Um, I do think people are really trying to, uh, you know, make the best of what's a, you know, just a very difficult situation. Um, well, in any case, uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.